we're in Colombo right now. We finally made it to Sri Lanka after 24 hours. More than 24 hours of traveling. We so, so we've mostly been traveling so far. Yeah, but we've also while traveling from especially in Gambo to Colombo, it was really nice in the bus because you could see so many places and all the weird houses. It was really funny. Yeah, and there were some like Buddha temples, altars, beneath on the side of the road, so that was also really nice. Yeah, but we saw that last night already because at night they're like um, lighted, so you can see them still. Yeah, they're candles and stuff. Yeah, and you also saw some people stopping there and just looking at them and I don't know, maybe making a prayer or something. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, we haven't talked to the locals that much. I mean, the people here <laughs> that were like the host of the hostel or something, and and the tuk tuk drivers. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. so yeah, what we've been doing, um, well, we started our journey with um, a flight from Amsterdam to Helsinki, which is in Finland. And, and then we <laughs> arrived in Finland, like the girl sitting next to us, she was like, what the hell are you going to do in Finland? And we were like... Yeah, she was Finnish <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I hate it here, I don't, I don't like my own country. And we were like, why? It's really pretty here. Yeah, but from the window in the plane, it looked really <laughs> nice. So. But know. we've both never been to Finland, so maybe maybe she's, she's right. right. <laughs> Most know. likely, she does it better than we do. Yeah. Oh, and also what we did see was that when we arrived, the sun was still up, but it was setting. So we saw the sun set, but like 15 minutes later, we saw a sunrise because that's that's kind of a thing. That's called yeah. midsummer night, I think. No, it, it, midsummer night has been. Then it doesn't set at all. Oh, so it's almost like, almost, almost. Midsummer, yeah, midsummer night. Like so yeah, around that time. So that was pretty nice and. Then afterwards, we went with a long flight to Singapore. 11 hours. So it was pretty intense. <laughs> she had a fight with the girl in front of her. Yeah, the girl in front of me, she was... I don't know, she had a problem with me. I don't really understand why. She put back her chair and it bumped against my knees. And I said, could you please don't do that? Just not that far. And she was like, oh, sorry, we're all in the same situation. You should just accept it. And I was like... Yes, it's fine, but not against my knees because it hurts. <laughs> but after a while, we, we just didn't talk to each other that much, so it wasn't a uh, big no, problem. But and when we left, she started clapping and said, uh, really funny, guys. And I was like, what do we do now? <laughs> yeah, because then but, we really didn't do anything. So <laughs> apparently, I'm, I'm a girl you hate. <laughs> oh, definitely. I'm, I'm not sure I'm traveling with her. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave on my own. <laughs> you better. <laughs> No, we're not. But um, so then, uh, after that 11-hour flight, we had some time to kill in uh, on Singapore, Singapore airport. You so, couldn't uh, see a thing because her eyes hurt us from the, the yeah. being in the airplane too long with lenses. So she yeah, took the air was out. really dry for 11 hours, and so I took my lenses out. But I had my glasses in my suitcase, so um, I couldn't see anything. So it was funny. Yeah, so she wore my, she was my eyes, and I was like, what, what? <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. She just fell asleep again at the airport because she just slept like the whole day. She says she has been traveling twenty four hours, but she has been sleeping, I've been sleeping like twenty four hours, like eighteen of them. So basically, she slept and ate and slept, so she had a good trip. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to travel because it goes so fast. And then afterwards we had just a plane from Singapore to Sri Lanka, which was just three more hours, so we were almost there. Yeah. And we get, got food again. <laughs> yeah, we got food in the plane twice, and it was both pretty good. Yeah, especially the second one. And yeah. this morning, the breakfast, it was like... Oh, yeah, this sweet little lady, she made us breakfast, and it was... Yeah, we paid for it, of course. Yeah, we so paid it for normal. it, but, <laughs> but she made it for us, and it was just so nice. We had, we had some, some scrambled eggs, or some, S some, some omelette, and, omelet and like some, some noodles, noodles with a curry or something yeah, like that. With and with lentils. Yeah, and, and then the papaya. papaya. Oh, and tea. it was so good. I never had papaya before. It's, it tastes a little bit like... Melon with carrot? I know, it was really good. <laughs> She's an idiot. Yeah, and we had some tea, so it was So okay. it was good. And yeah. then afterwards she called the tuk tuk for us, so that was really easy. Yeah, we didn't have to do a thing. The yeah. tuk tuk just showed up at our hostel and we just had to get in. And she told him the driver we had to go to Colombo and like when we arrived at the station the driver walked with us at the station and it was just like yeah you need to send in this line and then the bus will arrive and you can get in the bus. Yeah, so we took a bus to Colombo and that's when we saw all the all the, all the things on the road and yeah. then 
at the end we first started walking to the hostel but then we kind of got lost so we decided to take another tuk tuk to take another tuk tuk <laughs> because we were walking with our big bags so it was like yeah normally i would just walk i don't care but with the big bags it's okay and when you get lost it's yeah the combination kinda... was like better not better to take a tuk tuk so yeah that's what we've been doing so far and now we're going to the city center we're probably going to the old hospital and to first the, and to the, the fort, fort. And then later we'll see, because downstairs in the hostel they have like a map with the highlights, with pictures of the highlights, so we can choose where to go and we can also look on our own map so we know where the hostel is so we don't get lost again, which would be good. Yeah, let's not get lost again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's the plan for now. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna give an update probably on Wednesday again. Yeah, we'll And see. then uh, we, I hope we did a lot. Yeah, but, um, I think so. Yeah. So. Uh, Bye! Bye.